Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Um, this is um, a tutorial uh, where uh, I will go and explain to you uh, how you can uh, light uh, your scene uh, using images. Uh, basically, I will explain to you uh, the image-based lighting workflow. Okay. Um, during this tutorial uh, I will explain to you too how you can uh, set up HDR pictures to your scene uh, basically HDR pictures are those uh, 360 degrees pictures that uh, uh, will affect uh, our uh, objects uh, from all directions um, but for starting let's uh, start to uh, illuminate the scene using uh, an image okay as you can see I have already an object in the scene it is a pen I have downloaded it from blender kit uh, special thanks to his author uh, Willem Duha I don't know if it is the correct way to spell it um, if you don't know what is blender kit you can go to www.blenderkit.com okay uh, it have uh, on the site videos uh, with all the information so that you can later use it to to insert objects on your scene uh, basically some objects are already done we we can download it freely so why should we have uh, the work um, to start this tutorial, I have downloaded to a picture of a sunset. Okay, I have it here on my desktop. I have chosen the sunset because it has all those oranges and uh, reds that uh, I want to, uh, that I think that is good uh, to show you uh, how uh, they will uh, interact with our object in this case uh, the pen okay the first thing that uh, we need to do um, is make sure that you have uh, the cycles render selected it will work on Eevee without any kind of problem but for this tutorial we are going to use cycles later I can show you on Eevee at the end of tutorial there's no problem uh, with that um, and let's delete uh, this uh, light over here press Del to delete during this tutorial if you have any problem uh, any doubt you can always look which keys am I typing if you look at the bottom left of the screen okay and now the next step let's add a plane of chip A plane press S and G to move it okay now uh, the next step is to add an emission material to it okay so that we can uh, add some light to our scene let's go here to the um, to the material tab click on new and then let's go here to the shading tab delete the principal BHDF and add the emission shader. Now, as you can see, um, it has uh, already basically this is a softbox. Uh, this is the term used in the photography world, uh, basically, a softbox and um, that is illuminating our scene. And now, let's add the picture to it so you just need to go to the shading tab again shift a texture image texture let's open on the desktop the sunset okay connect it here and now as you can see we have our image affecting uh, the way that the object is um, illuminated as you can see on the reflections and on the refractions um, the way that we are see the object is changed by the picture that we um, select 
to our plate in this case our light okay and for this um, case we are I am using plane but you can do it uh, with lights without any problem I will gonna show you next so let's remove the plane shift a let's add a spotlight G G okay let's move it up a little bit that is cool let's just scale it down a little bit okay let's go to the light properties change the strength to maybe and now the process uh, if we want to add the, the texture of the sunset is the same shift a texture image texture okay and select the sunset as you can see uh, it has already um, doing something but the, the effect is not the same that we have with our plane uh, basically that's because we need to add uh, two more nodes over here one node it's um, a texture coordinate and another one it's a mapping node okay basically um, this will allow us to uh, change uh, the, the scale the rotation and the location of the picture so that we can uh, see how it looks better as you can see i'm sorry as you can see here if i change the location it will affect the way that the picture is interacting with the pen okay let's just add 2050 okay i think that um, if you use the plane uh, it can be easier because with the uv mappings you can control uh, the part of the picture that you want to to interact with the object and in this case you have to 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 try and to put the values here so i think that in my opinion it is better to use the planes but that is up to you this is just another method the next step is um, as i told you before is to show you how you can uh, add an hdr image to to the scene okay so let's delete this lamp because we are not going to need it um, I have searched on the internet uh, what is an HDR image, HDR image, um, and basically the difference is that those that image uh, they support uh, 32 bits uh, per pixel per channel. That is too too far away from what JPEG is can do. Okay, if you want to download. Um, some good uh, pictures of uh, some good hdri pictures uh, to insert in your scenes you can go to hdr heaven okay you have uh, lots i have for this case chosen uh, an indoor one that is this one that i have already downloaded on my computer and you can even check uh, the see uh, and download uh, what is the best resolution for you I have downloaded the 2K version, okay. And to insert an HDR image in your scene is too simple. You just need to go here to the shading tab, click here on the object, change it to the world, and then shift A, add texture, environment texture, open the HDR image and connect it okay and voila as you can see now we have our background that is an hdr picture 
Uh, another thing that um, that you can check and that you can uh, practice is uh, that uh, HDR image always affect the light on the scene too. Uh, let let me show you. If we change that parameters here, maybe to two, okay. As you can see, our scene have became much brighter. Maybe two point five. And now it has become darker, okay? And the, the, the image always affects all the reflections and all the reflections on our object. I think that that is pretty much it. This is a basic tutorial. Um, I hope that you have liked it. And sometimes sorry about my English uh, because that's not my native language. And I have to think uh, what am I going to say. And um, if you have liked it, uh, please subscribe my channel. Thanks a lot.